All right, what I'd like to do real quick though is show you how to, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna condense this. Now this is gonna get very important to actually what we're gonna learn today, but we actually did this two days ago, but I'll just go over a quick little review on this as far as condensing. Remember, whenever you're condensing, all right, our goal is to get to one logarithm. I wanna get my final answer to be ln of something, all right? That's our final goal. Just like when you solve equations, you want to get your final answer to be x equals something or whatever your variable is equals, right? When you're condensing, our whole goal is to get down to one single logarithm. So right now I have three different logarithms. So to get down to one single logarithm, I have to follow PEMDAS. So I'm going to look inside my parentheses first. I understand that by using properties of logarithms, whenever I have two separate logarithms added, I can rewrite them as one logarithm multiplied. So I can say now ln of x minus 4 times ln of x minus 2 times x plus 2. I also notice that this is a difference of two squares, right? So I can rewrite this as x squared minus 4. Um, then the next thing is looking for my exponents. I understand that I can bring my number in front and put it as my exponent. So actually, I'll just one step at a time, not to confuse you. So let's do 4 of ln of x squared minus 4, right? Then I can take this, and this is my properties of logs, right? Remember, whenever you have a number in front, you can rewrite it as your exponent, minus ln of x times at, oops, ln of x squared minus 4 raised to the fourth. All right, make sure it's the whole term is raised to the fourth, not just the last number, the whole term. Then, on my last properties of logarithms, I know that whenever I have a two logarithms subtracted, I can write it as one single logarithm divided. So I can write ln, I'll just use my ln that I created, ln of x divided by x squared minus four to the fourth. And there we go, I created all these logarithms and I condensed them down to one single logarithm. Isn't that amazing? Okay, I'll show you in the next video.